ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aelite and welcome back to yet another video here on the channel. In today's video, guys, we have the face cam on once again and we're going over all of the PlayStation exclusives that we're going to be getting for Black Ops Cold War, such as extra loadouts, experience boost, and, well, the obvious one, the Onslaught game mode. A lot of fans are super upset over this and I'll tell you what I think later on in the video, but before we actually do talk about all of that, make sure you leave a like, share, and subscribe if you're new for more Call of Duty content. We mainly cover zombies here on the channel, but I'm also trying to expand out and cover everything COD related. Without any more ado though, let's go ahead and get into the video. In this video, I'm actually going over an article by Enemy Gaming. If you guys want to check it out, I'll make sure it's linked down in the description. It's a pretty good read. It kind of just has all of the reasons that people are upset about this whole exclusivity deal and all the exclusives in one place, so it makes it a lot easier for me to find them. But yeah, it starts out by saying Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is set to release next week, and fans of this series are disgruntled over PlayStation exclusive benefits. Following on from the announcement of the PlayStation exclusive Zombies Onslaught mode, which we talked about in a previous video, Activision detailed the benefits players on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 will receive in a PlayStation blog post. These include extra tier skips for players that will buy the Battle Pass bundle, 25% weapon experience for all PlayStation players that run together in parties, exclusive double experience weekends, and two additional loadout slots. Fans have expressed their frustration through Reddit and Twitter at what they see as an unfair advantage that will only be available to a single platform for the player base. There's also a strong threat of fans declaring that the bonuses are potentially anti-consumer. Many others feel that the exclusives are less about offering legitimate incentives, but instead taking away features from other platforms could have. Whilst exclusivity is nothing new to games like Call of Duty, fans are still upset that even the core parts of the game, such as loadouts, are being affected by the announcement. Others are frustrated that it effectively makes their battle pass redundant, as the extra tier skips for PlayStation are included with the paid pass, while others are liking the class limitations to the mobile game style additions. And then of course this article wraps up by saying that Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is set to release on November 13th for PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series S. And that's kind of where the article ends, but PlayStation also kind of attached this little, I guess, trailer to kind of hype up the PlayStation exclusives that I'll go ahead and play at the end of this video. But first of all, I kind of just want to put in my input on, uh, you know, just the way I feel about this whole situation, because I'm, I've am i been in the Call of Duty community for quite a long time. I know I look super young, but honestly, I, I started playing Call of Duty quite a long time ago. Now, I remember back when PlayStation would actually get whole DLCs early, and that's like their whole thing, you know, they'd get DLCs a month early. And honestly, if you're comparing it now, yes, this is a really dumb exclusivity deal. But in my opinion, it is a lot better than getting DLCs early, because at least we're all getting the exact same content at the exact same time. Yes, PlayStation might have, you know, an unfair advantage. They get two extra loadouts for a multiplayer, but like... At at least we all get the content at the same time now you know that was something that just pissed me off back in black ops 3 advanced warfare i think ghost was a xbox exclusive i don't remember but you get the point all right i do think this is a little bit better from what we used to get i think exclusives are just absolutely dumb in 2020 other than like you know console exclusive games even those i think are kind of dumb but i understand why they do it but yeah that's actually kind of all i really wanted to say within this video you know congrats to playstation you get extra loadouts you get extra xp and you get a uh, fucking battle pass skips to the rest of the Call of Duty community, you know what? It's okay, man. This is a lot better than what exclusives PlayStation used to have. So at least we should be thankful for that. Yeah, yes, I mean, I feel like I could speak for the entire community when we say we don't want exclusives anymore but that's not gonna happen dude it's activision that we're talking about i'll go ahead and end this video with the trailer that playstation actually let everyone see but before i do make sure you leave a like share and subscribe if you're new for more call of duty content just like this one and i'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow Peace.